guys, it's Will here from WTF Car Reviews, and today we're gonna to be reviewing this 2021 Mitsubishi Mirage, and uh, this Mitsubishi Mirage has a five-speed manual. All right, guys, uh, before we start, I would like to give a huge thank you to the staff here at Jenkins Mitsubishi here in Lakeland, Florida. Uh, these guys are extremely kind and knowledgeable, and they're always looking to make deals. So if you're looking for a high-quality vehicle for the best possible price, I would definitely check out Jenkins Mitsubishi here in Lakeland, Florida. So for those of you guys who don't know, the Mitsubishi Mirage is the entry-level model for a Mitsubishi. And uh, this vehicle's purpose is basically to be the absolutely most affordable vehicle you can purchase in the United States of America. And this vehicle does exactly that. Uh, people pick these things up for under $10,000 brand new all the time. Uh, so for a brand new value, you really can't beat it. So if you're somebody that needs to get the like maximum lifespan out of a vehicle you don't want to go the used car market because if you spend ten thousand dollars used there's a good chance you're going to be spending two three thousand dollars a year just to keep the car on the road uh, but with this vehicle you're buying a brand new vehicle so you're going to have about a hundred thousand miles at least if you take care of it so you really can't beat you can't really beat a ten thousand dollar out the door brand new vehicle but this vehicle does exactly that no the msrp is not exactly ten thousand dollars but there are people who pick these things up for ten nine maybe even eight thousand dollars all the time uh, so anyway, let's just check this vehicle out and see what exactly it offers. But anyway, let's come along front. So we do have a halogen headlight, though it is very large, so it should do a pretty good job of lighting the road in front of you. Uh, you have a nice blacked out gloss grill with nice little chrome silver accents with a nice reflective Mitsubishi badge in the middle. And uh, this does keep the Mitsubishi's chrome styling around its lights. It looks very nice, even with this very affordable Mirage model. Uh, so underneath the headlights, of course, you got a light, nice little slot for where you're fog lights would be on the higher trims this vehicle does not have that this vehicle is all about maximizing bang for your buck and it uh, trust me it does exactly that uh, that's about it for the front you do have a nice body colored lower splitter but as we come alongside let's check out these wheels so these wheels are pretty pretty tiny so, so these are falcon sincera tires these are wrapped in 165 65 14 tires so 14 inch rims these are very very small but it will lower the unsprung mass of this vehicle so this 78 horsepower three cylinder engine shouldn't have any problems moving this set of wheels and tires around match with a nice little 2,000 pound car so it should be really interesting to see how this vehicle drives uh, but behind it as you can see these aren't the rims these are just like hard plastic light aluminum uh, wheel covers but behind that you got your center cap so pretty cool anyway let's come alongside uh, you do have a nice mirror it's a very large mirror for this very small uh, I guess hatchback, but there's no blind spot monitoring. Of course, we are going to be cutting costs wherever we can. So as we go to the door, we do not have smart access. You have your old school key. However, you do have power lock and unlock with panic button. So very old school, but it's very nice. That they still gave you power lock and unlock considering the price of this vehicle. And speaking of price, let's just do a quick little inspection of what this vehicle is about on this window sticker. So you have a 1.2 liter dual overhead cam, three cylinder engine. Now this vehicle makes 78 horsepower. And it does have halogen headlights. However, it does have LED taillights. We'll check those out in a second. So it's nice that they did give you that. But uh, so of course you have your seven inch smartphone display with Apple CarPlay with Android Auto. Now that's huge considering the price of this vehicle. Uh, you have a, power, a remote keyless entry. You have automatic climate control. That's also huge for a vehicle in this price point. You have USB control, you have USB ports. You have all the safety tech you need. You got forward collision mitigation system with pedestrian det detection. You have hill start assist. And considering this is a six, a five speed manual, it's nice to have that feature. And you do have a stability control. You got airbags, you got knee airbags. You got basically all the uh, safety features you could ever want or need. Uh, the vehicle does have a couple options. So you have a tonneau cover and you have carpeted floor mats and portfolio package. Uh, but where this vehicle really shines outside of this really great MSRP is going to be this gas mileage. So yes, you're going to be having a combined 36 miles per gallon. I wouldn't be surprised if you get better miles per gallon than that in this vehicle. But uh, all in all, this vehicle comes out to a total MSRP of $15,000 and a half dollars. And that's before any deals, any incentives. And trust me, Mitsubishi has a lot of them, especially for this vehicle. But that's about it for the window sticker. Uh, before we go inside, let's just finish this little walk around to the side. So yes, you do have a nice little Mirage badge back here and uh, you do have a rear view camera. So it's very nice for an affordable vehicle like this. And these are your LED taillights. As you can see here, your brake lights and turn signals. Uh, but coming down here, let's check out this exhaust tip. Very small, but we'll see how it sounds in a second. Uh, but actually, let's just do exactly that. So now we've basically seen everything there is on the outside of this Mitsubishi Mirage. Let's start her up and hear how she sounds. Okay. 
Okay guys, so that was of course the sound of the 1.2 liter three cylinder engine sold by Mitsubishi for this Mirage. Uh, so let's pop this hood up and check it out. Okay, so as expected, you're not gonna have struts with this vehicle. You're gonna be dealing with a prop rod, which is located right here. Uh, so let me get my elbow positioned so you can see this process. Uh, but there you have it. It's very hot since it's under the hood, but you just drop it in there and there you have it. Uh, but again, there you have it. Here's your intake. I have never in my life seen an intake like this. This is actually pretty cool. It's pretty funny to look at, but very cool. You have your battery on your driver's side. That's an interesting design considering that's where your driver will be. So you don't want to add weight in unnecessary areas. But considering this is a Japanese vehicle, I'm sure it stays the same with their market. So when the driver's on the other side, this will definitely actually help. But all in all, very impressed with this motor. It has surprisingly good pickup, guys. I'm not gonna exaggerate. You're gonna check that out once I take this car out for a drive. But this intake, guys, that is funny. It's like a little dirt bike, but anyway, let's shut this hood and uh, check out the interior on this Mitsubishi Mirage. All right. Okay, so stepping inside this Mitsubishi Mirage, uh, as expected with this price tag, we're not gonna have the highest quality materials. There is gonna be hard plastic, however, with good graining material for your upper part of the dash, I mean your armrest, I'm sorry, or door panel, wow. So for your armrest itself, it's still hard plastic, unfortunately, uh, but you can put something over it eventually, so it's not gonna be too bad long term. Uh, you have hard plastic for your arm over here. So basically this whole door panel is gonna be hard plastic. You have very good storage capabilities, however, and you do have a very nice automatic driver's window. So it is nice that they gave you that uh, and a pretty nice little aluminum door handle. But anyway, let's check out the inside of this Mirage. So you're gonna have pretty nice little cloth seats. They're not the most supportive, but they're very comfortable. They're very soft. So all in all, I can't really complain about them too much. Uh, so let's step inside this Mirage. And let's turn down these fan controls too. Uh, so first thing you notice, yes, this vehicle is a five-speed manual. And uh, however, this manual, it's a little bit loopy. It doesn't have the most crisp shifts, but that's what you expect with a vehicle in this segment. You're gonna be getting the most like, economical vehicle possible. Uh, one thing I'll say about this manual is it's very smooth. So the clutch, very smooth, it's very light, and it's very easy to find where the engagement point is. So in terms of drivability, this vehicle is very easy to drive. So this steering wheel, it has pretty good nine and three slots. Of course, it's not gonna be leather wrapped, but it's still a good plastic materials, pretty soft, pretty supportive. Uh, no 10 and two bolsterings, but to be expected. Uh, as far as the bottom, it's not gonna be flat. You're not gonna have a spoke for your hands, but overall, pretty high quality steering wheel. Definitely not gonna complain about this. Uh, you do have your mode select and you have your cruise control settings over here. And here's your really nice seven inch display. So really cool that this vehicle offers it. Of course, you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, we come up top to the dash. So for the dashboard, of course, you're gonna have more hard plastic all around the dashboard, but the vehicle is not about the dashboard. This vehicle is not about the door panel either. This vehicle is about absolute bang for your buck in terms of cost, options, and overall performance, honestly. And I'm not gonna lie, this vehicle does perform pretty well considering its price tag and overall power numbers. Uh, so you're also gonna have really good features with this overall system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You have automatic climate control. That's a great feature considering this price point. You got your USB connections, of course. You got nice little cup holders, good storage capabilities, and a nice little slot over here that you can put your radar detector in. Uh, so let's check this glove box out. Uh, it's not damped, it just falls right down. Uh, it's not lined with felt, to be expected, but overall you can fit quite a bit of stuff in this glove box. So it's nice that for a small vehicle like this, you do have pretty decent storage capabilities. Uh, but come along down, uh, you can take a look at your pedals. They're not gonna be aluminum, uh, aluminum plated, but they're still good. They're rubber gripped, so you have a ton of grip for your pedals. Uh, and of course your gas release down here. Uh, come along over here, this is where you're gonna have your mirror controls. You control left and right, you got your trash control settings, and you can turn off your uh, forward collision alert. So I'm not gonna do that, but it's nice that they allow you to turn it off. Uh, so it's, it's also nice that this vehicle comes with it considering its price tag, but one last thing to look at. So finally, let's just come over here in the middle. So you got your analog tachometer on the left. It goes to about 6,500 RPM. It's nice for this three cylinder motor. Uh, you also have your analog speedometer in the middle, which will go to 140 miles per hour, and all your other little uh, heads up lights and warning lights to the right. Uh, but that's about it guys of course you got your e-brake in the middle with an additional cup holder as well uh, but yeah that's about it for the front seat of this 2021 mitsubishi mirage so let's check out the back seat and then trunk space and then take this car out for a drive okay so stepping in the back seat of this mitsubishi mirage of course this is a compact vehicle so we're not going to expect to have the best 
legroom and we're also not going to expect the door panels to have the softest materials especially since it wasn't the case up front uh, so we're not even going to look at that it's not it's not what this vehicle is about uh, but what this vehicle is about is look guys i'm sitting behind my seat settings and i still have room I, my knees are not touching the seat i have plenty of space considering the size of this vehicle um so when you need to like transport four people maybe even five people in sticky situations you want to get the cheapest car possible and still have a little bit of fun while driving it this is the perfect perfect vehicle for you uh so yes back seat is useful usable uh you don't have a, a center armrest unfortunately uh but the seats do fall 60 40 if you need extra storage but let's just check out this trunk and then take this car out for a drive okay so as always we're at the gator pond so we're gonna check out the trunk space of this mirage no of course we're not going to have a power opening trunk but it does have hydraulic struts so it does assist you with the vehicle's weight and as mentioned before you do have a tunnel cover which will stop you from accessing full potential of your cargo space but it will take uh past people's eyes and the sun off your stuff so coming down here you don't have a ton of space uh but it, it's more than enough for groceries and you can always fold these front seats down 60 40 and you can have much much more space in your mitsubishi mirage but let's close this trunk up take one last step back and let's take this car out for a drive all right guys so now we've just about seen everything there is to see with the inside and out of the 2021 mitsubishi mirage with the five-speed manual transmission and that's the way you should probably get it uh let's take it out for a drive and see how this vehicle can really perform So first thing I noticed is this clutch is incredibly easy to use. So uh, you can clearly feel where it starts to grab. Uh, but anyway, let's take this car out for a little twisty road and just see how fun this car really can be. All right, so we're gonna go onto this little twisty road keep it in actually let's drop it back down to a second and see how it is on here so the handling is great you have a ton of steering feel all right let's see what the exit power is not bad there's some decent exit power too we're, we're just leaving it in second gear so the engine's gonna be a little bit loud but overall very good like that was just a little bit just getting into it a little bit and the car can handle it's very fun especially with this five-speed transmission but let's get onto this little road There's just very little torque, so when, once you shift, you're gonna want to, it's, it it's gonna take a little bit of time to get back into the power band, but just for driving around town, you have more than enough. It's definitely usable. So let's drop it down to fifth gear. This is an overdrive gear. And going about 40 miles an hour, we are still turning 2000 RPM. So it's gonna be a relatively high revving engine, but that will just help you keep the car in the power band. And similar to the Outlander Sport GT, uh, this steering, there's a lot of feel, but there's just, um, it doesn't really come go back into its place, if that makes any sense. But let's drop back down to the third and see how it is up this hill. Just on the gas a little bit. And there's plenty of power, guys. It, it's, it's not like, it's not gonna be blowing you away in terms of power, obviously. It has 78 horsepower, but for a vehicle with 78 horsepower, considering that it only weighs, what, uh, 2,100 pounds? Like that's that's an absolutely fantastic power to weight ratio um obviously there are vehicles that are faster than this even in this segment there are vehicles that are faster than this but they're not this cheap is are they they're not going to be ten thousand dollars out the door uh fifteen thousand dollars msrp so if you want to get the ultimate bang for your buck uh if you're looking for a first car if you're looking for an affordable car for a family i, I really don't see how you can go wrong with this car uh, especially with a five-speed manual it's going to help you keep the vehicle in the power band uh, compared to the CVT. Uh, the CVTs, they are getting a lot better, however. So uh, for Mitsubishi, for all manufacturers, really, uh, they're really starting to improve their CVT systems. So can't really complain. However, you can't really replace a manual transmission car. So just cruising about 35 miles an hour on this road, um, you do hear a little bit of engine noise, which is surprising for a vehicle with an engine this small. But since this vehicle is so small, it's not going to have the most sound deadening materials. So you are gonna hear a little bit more compared to other models, especially from Mitsubishi. Uh, but the road noise, you don't really hear a lot. You hit the bumps, it sounds no different than 99% of vehicles that I've driven. So it's not loud, like the wind noise is not loud, the road noise is not loud. Um, I haven't taken it onto a highway with high speed uh, winds, 
but uh, for just going like 40 miles per hour, not a lot of noise. But okay, let's do this little really fast high speed U-turn. And there is a little bit of body roll, but nothing to complain about. And coming out of the turn, it pulls pretty hard coming out. But obviously it's not gonna be mind-blowing acceleration. But, okay, we got a little bit of open road. Let's just slow down. Uh, we're gonna go uphill a little bit and see how this vehicle can accelerate off the line. And so for you guys, if you're looking to buy this car, if you wanna know if it can perform, let's see if it can perform. We're not gonna launch it off the line, of course, uh, but we're just gonna roll into it and see what this vehicle can do. Yeah, it's not the fastest, but it is pretty fun. And keep in mind, we are going uphill, but all in all, pretty good acceleration. Definitely can't complain. Um, it's not the fastest, but it's fast enough. If you're going to get the zero to 60 to highway speeds, you will get there pretty quickly. You're not going to be getting there fast. It's not going to be throwing you back in your seat, but for a vehicle that costs what this vehicle costs, it's very, very respectable acceleration. Okay, one more little acceleration run. See, coming out of the first gear to second gear, that's when you're gonna find there being like the most power lag. So if you're like coming onto a highway, if you're trying to get in front of a bunch of cars, you're gonna wanna rev the car out in first gear. You wanna get to at least like 20 plus miles an hour in first gear, because if you don't, uh, in second gear, you're gonna be dropping to about like 2,000 RPM, and there's just not gonna be a lot of torque. So your, your torque's really gonna be at its highest above 3,000 RPM. So that's where you're gonna be on the highway. On the highway, you're gonna be cruising at about 3,000 RPM. But we're in fifth gear right now, going about 40. And the car has plenty of response, even in for uh, fifth gear. Um, you're not gonna be accelerating, obviously, in fifth gear. That's gonna be what your lower gears are for. Like the body roll definitely adds to the driving experience. It makes it feel like you're going faster than you really are. Uh, you're not gonna be like endangering yourself because the vehicle's just not capable of reaching dangerous levels of speed. Uh, but let's just turn around right here and head back to Jenkins Mitsubishi here in beautiful Lakeland, Florida. And again, I'm super thankful they're letting me review this vehicle. This vehicle is very, very impressive, guys. So again, um, it's not going to be the fastest. You're not buying this car because it's the fastest, but it is going to be the cheapest and relatively fun to drive. So really not too much to complain about. But you do have to rev it up quite a bit to get it to move. But that's expected, the smaller engine. This turn coming up, we're gonna hit it at two fast speeds, see how it does. Drop down the second and turn it in. No understeer, barely any body roll. And coming out of the turn, whew, guys, this car is not bad. You you will not be disappointed with this car, but okay, let's turn onto this road over here. five-speed manual it's gonna make the car a lot more fun you're gonna enjoy it uh, especially for daily driving and all that uh, but all in all um, I had a lot of fun making this video for you guys I really enjoyed this car uh, obviously the materials aren't gonna be the highest quality uh, but the price is gonna be like relatively cheap and the funds gonna be relatively high so if you're looking for a first car 
Um, I would definitely suggest this car for you, or at least definitely look into it because it's very affordable. The car will last you a very long time. You're gonna get you're gonna get your money's worth buying this car. Trust me, especially if you get a deal on it. Um, I wouldn't recommend paying MSRP for it, but given these uh, deals and incentives that Mitsubishi offers, I don't think that's gonna be an issue. But yeah, all in all, uh, the steering in this car is pretty good. It's pretty light. It's kind of numb, but there is a decent amount of feel to it, and it's pretty direct. So no, no, like not too many complaints overall. Uh, the shifter, it's uh, not the sportiest shifter. You're not gonna really feel your gears, what gear you're in, too well. Uh, but this clutch, it's very good. So you're gonna feel your clutch very well. It's very easy to get this car going off the line smoothly. Uh, it's very easy to engage all the gears smoothly too. Uh, so it'll definitely be a comfortable driving experience. Um, obviously, you're going to have to feather around with the uh, clutch and the gas off the line. It's a lighter vehicle. It's to be expected. But all in all, it's not bad. All right, one more little second gear pull on the highway. This is foot to the floor, right? Yeah, so it's not going to be too much, but it will get to highway speed with no issues at all. So, can't complain too much. But all in all, guys, uh, that's about it. So huge thanks to Jenkins Mitsubishi for letting me review this car. Uh, great car, especially for the money. I would definitely recommend it to anybody that's looking to buy an affordable first car or uh, just overall car with a like pretty usable back seat, honestly. Uh, I would definitely get this vehicle with a five. All right, guys, as you saw, my phone actually overheated as uh, I was test driving the car. Uh, but all in all, I would definitely recommend this car, the five speed. It may not be the most sport oriented five speed transmission there is. Uh, but it's still a five speed it'll be much more engaging of a driving experience uh, it'll be cheaper uh, to buy the car and um, it'll just be like overall more fun but all in all i had a great time recording this video for you guys huge thanks to janky mitsubishi for making this review possible uh, please subscribe like comment let me know uh, what you like what you don't like what i can improve on uh, but other than that i hope you guys have a great day